Who is the source of such authority? To whom is it given? When and how could we use such authority? We can use the authority of God to overcome the trials of life. There are times in our lives when we feel depressed. We feel sorry for ourselves. We feel we can't forgive someone. Jesus' name, his name has power. You can pray for someone. And if it's according to God's will, that person will be healed. This is the authority. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Dear brothers and sisters, this is Abud. Today, we'll be continuing about the authority of God. And the third use is how to be a participant and a contributor when someone is being born again to be at that moment in her or her life. Let's come together and pray. Our dear Father in heaven, we thank you for today. We thank you that you've given us everything. We thank you for our families. We thank you that you are present with us. Dear Lord, come and fill us with your words of wisdom, words of glory. Change us, mold us. I pray for my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name, Amen. Once, I remember, we had a person in our church, and such person had the spirit of fear. He wouldn't go outside. He was afraid, especially of the cops. And even when he takes a taxi or Uber, he would sometimes be afraid to be kidnapped. So he came over to our church a couple of times, and the pastor prayed. And then once we were all together, including him, and we prayed for him. And together we said, in the realm of the spirit, we ask that the spirit of fear who lives in this person, in the name of mighty Jesus, to depart him immediately. It left him. Three days later, he was a completely different man. He said that he was experiencing joy, and to this day, he still send us text messages, Bible verses. He is full of joy. And three months later, he was baptized with water. And that's the effect of the name of Jesus. It has power and the word of God. He believed that Jesus died on the cross. He believed in his blood and he was saved. I witnessed this. I was there and I was praying for him. This is the glory of God's work. Now, we have to be always ready for the Holy Spirit to guide us in our lives, to be a spiritual soldiers, because the Bible says, in Mark 16 verses 15 to 18 he said to them go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned all these signs will accompany uh, those who believe in my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not harm them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. The Holy Spirit sometimes may suddenly present you with a person in your life who is a Christian by name, who's exhausted, who is tired of his life, who's lost, and he says he's a Christian. He does not know the word of God. He does not know how 
Jesus could change his life. And guess what? He calls you and he tells you, I am tired. And you pray with him and you say, do you really feel that you have, go you have hurt go God's feeling? You've hurt his heart? And you ask him, do you accept Jesus? And he prays for you the prayer of salvation. And later on, he feels joy and Jesus come to his heart and changes him completely. Yes, some Christians are by name. They don't really know God. They have hate, jealousy, and they haven't been saved yet. What an awesome God we have. We have the Bible. Do we really read the Bible? Do we live? Do we practice the Bible? If you believe in Jesus, if you believe with his work on the cross, whatever he has done for you on the blood, and you read the Bible every day, and you practice the word every day, yes, God will use you. You will be and you will witness someone who was born again. This is how God he is. Thank you, Lord, for the Bible. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your blood. Teach us how to humble ourselves and to pray continuously to be a spiritual soldiers ready for your work. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. I pray for my brothers and sisters that you fill them with the Holy Spirit. Always use them, guide them, protect them. In the name of mighty Jesus, amen.